friends, welcome back to my channel. This is my face. Today I did this. I don't know what it is. What time is it? 12.25? No, I didn't change my watch. It is 1.20 in the afternoon, so I'm only doing marginally better than I was yesterday, even though I told myself that I was going to come as soon as the sun was off of this side of my room. Suffice to say, I failed at that. If you thought, hey, she couldn't possibly come in with Jeffree Star palettes two days in a row, you'd be wrong, because today we are going in with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Of, like, the five, six palettes I have, most of them would be Jeffree Star products, so that's what you're going to get for a little while. So how do we feel about the lighting at 1.30 in the afternoon? Do we like it better? I don't know. I think I do. We've got Bruce back here. My base is already done because you saw me do that yesterday. Do we need to see me do it again? I don't think so. I'm trying to decide exactly how close is appropriate for you guys to be with me because even across the internet, sometimes too close is too close, let's face it. Bruce. I've got to say, I'm actually really enjoying having my viewfinder as a mirror to keep an eye on her. For anybody interested, you might already be able to tell if we're in the same week um, that I posted it, but I absolutely did not get my last video up on a Monday. I got it up at like two o'clock on Tuesday. Well, two o'clock this morning, but who's to say that I'll even get this video up today? I might uh, not do this until next week, so. Ooh. I've just realized how dirty my palette is. Don't judge me. I think possibly warm colors today. Let's balance it out. So I'm gonna go in with raspberry. I'm gonna take a NYX number 12, which is quite big. That might be a mistake, who knows, we'll see. And we are going to pack that on the outside and the inside. Both sides for now, we'll see if that's a horrendous mistake in about five, 10 minutes. Excuse me. Now, instead of being in front of me, Batman is actually to my right. I am absolutely okay with doing both eyes this early because I'm actually not afraid of reds. Reds are genuinely my friend. I find it easy to make red eyeshadow work for me no matter what the situation. Watch me eat those words. It's interesting though because I am hoping to do videos maybe at least every other day. We're going to see how it goes. Even though I have a lot of time, I don't actually want to be burning myself out or anything. I think the topic of trying to make sure you do something in this time period has actually become quite interesting and annoying. Lots of people are having a weird type of pressure being put on them at the moment not to waste any time. It's really weird because all of a sudden you have to learn a new language, you must make a business plan, or you're seen as somebody not taking the steps to utilize the time that's now forced on the well-being of the planet seriously. A friend of mine actually got told last night that if he doesn't take these steps to improve himself, then he's not taking advantage of making something of himself. I understand that there are good intentions behind that being said, but I I feel like it's quite insulting. The people who are saying these types of things to other people to me sound like they didn't think much of what certain people were doing before the pandemic, which is really rude. That's how it sounds. I know that that's not what the intent behind it is. I know people wanna help each other better themselves, but it's just a really bizarre thing to say, hey, if you don't work from home and you don't make something of yourself during this time, you are a failure. Someone was told that, yes, as a way to try and motivate them to do something with the time that they now have. Stuff like that 100% gets lost in the delivery. I'm gonna take a number 13 brush and take the same color raspberry on the underneath. Not everyday top heavy, apparently. I don't know, saying stuff like that to people seems really sad, depending on how it's said, because what should be the most important thing at the moment is making sure that everybody stays sane and fit for work for when this entire ordeal is over. Hi, yes, hello. Your mental health should not be taking a back seat at this current moment in time. I'm now going to take my other number 13 NYX brush and take orange juice. Mmm, I could do with some orange juice. I'm gonna go in with a brush first, see how I feel. And we feel great. We are absolutely gonna have to bust out the glitter, I'm sorry. The thing is, your mental health should absolutely be what you are trying to either maintain or improve during this time. Learning a new skill is absolutely wonderful. But to be honest, let's face it, if staying sane means binging Castlevania and Brooklyn Nine-Nine on Netflix from your bed until you have bed sores, drinking failed experiment ice creams and claiming that it's an ice cream, caramel, coffee, latte, milkshake, whatever you want to call it, then so be it. Make sure you are in the best mindset for you. If that means having naps at two o'clock in the afternoon, afternoon so that you feel nice and refreshed for the next part of your day. Do it. On that note, the only thing I would say that maybe it is important to make sure you crack a window and stretch every day just so that you're not, you know.
Look at me trying to sound all philosophical and stuff. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Probably not. I seldom make sense, to be honest. But it's nurture versus forcing somebody to fit into your ideals of what they should be doing with their free time. I can't speak for everybody. Everybody's different. We're just gonna push that in the underneath and everybody living it up say what would you do? Oh, the copyright strike's gonna be real. P. Louise, did I say P. Louise? I probably said P. Louise. I can hear a plane. People being able to go places. Or more likely being forced to go back home. I know it's a selfish thing to think about, but I am quite upset that my holiday plans got yeeted, I'm not gonna lie. This may be the first year since 2015 that I am not going to Japan. I'm gonna have to move it. I'm thinking my birthday next year. Anywhere between Jamil's birthday and my birthday. We are gonna take that dirty word that I'm not gonna say on camera and put it in the inner corner. That looks pinker on my skin than I remember it being. Not sure that I like that. I understand crying about the holiday that I'm not gonna be able to take this year sounds very self-centered and selfish, but don't misunderstand me. My trip to Japan is how I was taking care of my mental health. And I 100% know it's not like I'm not gonna go again. I'm definitely gonna go as soon as I am able to after all of this, but it is just a little bit upsetting that I know I'm gonna have to wait longer. That's all. So here are my thoughts. Currently, this inner corner shade was a very bold choice. I'm bringing raspberry back in just to calm down the middle because I want the glitter to be slightly narrower than what I've set out the orange. Yeah man this was this was this was really really ambitious. I'm thinking diamond crumbles but that's I I always do that without fail. So I'm trying to come back a little bit. What was next? What was next? Glitter? If you are confused my glitter is in my beauty box that is on the floor back here. And I don't quite want to get up, so um, yeah. I had no choice but to get up. My glitter glue was across the room on my dressing table. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da. I'm also going with Max glitter in copper. You put the glitter glue on the back of your hand. You take your finger. You just, uh, I like to get on my hand and just pop that on the middle. Yes. Then you get flat brush. You put very gently, do not drop it, and you put all the way in the middle. Of course my camera's not picking that up. Why ever would it want to cooperate with me over glitter? It looks cute, take my word for it. Pet, 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 pet. Oh, okay. We need to come up a little bit on this side. Do I want glitter on the underneath of my eyes? You know what? No, because getting glitter off your face, low key, with this NYX primer is so annoying. Then you gotta look at yourself for about five minutes just to decide uh, if you made the right choices this morning when you woke up. Was that a choice somebody who knows what they're doing makes? Probably not. Using the NYX Epic Wear Liner in the shade Yellow, who'd have thought? Please excuse me while I attempt to do that again. So it is important to note that if you don't look too closely, they look exactly the same. I do like this eye better though. I am going to do liner, mascara, lashes. Yes. People really do be recycling beats to death, you know. My brother is playing a song that I could have sworn was addicted. Truth hurts. But then I could have sworn I heard Neo, and that's definitely not the same song. Which made me realise the bass line I was listening to is definitely a signature of both people. But it means that a third person was using the same beat. You know that I like it, baby. So this is the Macromographic Pencil in Orange. And I think that when you buy these, there's a disclaimer to not actually put it in your waterline. Do as I say, not as I do. Or at least if you do what I do, do it at your own risk. Yes. We want to take lashes, bottom lashes. Mascara is what this is called. Mascara, bottom lashes, do it. Putting on some lashes. My guy is obsessed with this feather.
she grooms the feather religiously right i'm gonna do lips today i have faux black by nyx's lip liner i've got mac current nyx on the bottom mac current on the top and then on top of that night moth so faux black focus focus come now hello can you pay attention well basically you can't see it but faux black current night moth night moth and faux black are kind of sort of really the same thing but i'm gonna go in with night moth all around my lips wow less than 24 hours and i've already contradicted everything that i said yesterday busy eyes don't like lipstick well here's why i don't like wearing lip liner it is at this point that you will notice that you have got glitter absolutely all over your face. I'm gonna need you to ignore that. I have NYX's Strictly Vinyl Suede in the shade. Ha, <laughs> sugar mama. You can't see it, but take my word for it. And I've got Sugar Pills Pumpkin Spice. I don't know which one I want, you know. Let us just resign ourselves to the fact that focus on that thing not really gonna happen. I'm gonna go with Sugar Mama just in the middle and go from there. Ooh, it looks like Cherry Cola and I have dirtied up my doe foot. Who told me that would be a good idea? I don't know. Put it on the back of your hand and then go in with a lip brush. That way you can avoid tainting the entirety of the product. Flat brush? Man, lip liner is not my friend. I can never get it to be like neat. See, lipstick on its own, I actually get right, really right, nine times out of ten. Lip liner, the second I go in with lip liner. Look at this little face. I'm going to leave it here because I have been spending an embarrassingly long amount of time on my lips trying to make it look like I actually know what I'm doing. Newsflash, I don't. So this is the finished look. Oh, okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow or next week. But Bruce is now on my windowsill and my window is wide open. Oh my god, my windowsill has a ledge and Bruce was outside my window. <sighs> stay clean. Stay safe. Stay home.